Netflix canceled the Gorillaz movie. It's time for the latest news out of animation. Netflix has been canceling a bunch of animated projects lately, and now it's happening to the cult music group The Gorillas. While it was never officially announced, Netflix Animation has been working on a film featuring the four British proto VTubers for a while, with the contract signed as early as 2020. The band's frontman, Damon Albarn, was extremely enthusiastic about the project, boasting of the Gorillas' strong history of artistic video creation when compared to other bands. I see a lot of people doing animated videos these days, but I don't think they really touch the quality of ours. We're more in the world of Studio Ghibli. And hey, if there was a musical group who'd aim for those lofty artistic heights, it would be the Gorillas. A founding member of the group was artist Jamie Hewlett, creator of Tank Girl. Visuals and narrative have always been big things for the Gorillas. Fans were extremely excited about the promised film, hyped up to see what the band were gonna come up with. Unfortunately, now the project's in limbo, with Netflix pulling out any further support or funding, according to Albarn in an interview with Belgian tabloid Humo. The frontman described the project as permanently suspended, explaining that Netflix's purge of animated content had included removing the producer of the Gorillaz movie, leaving the entire project in limbo. The streaming service has tried to defend itself somewhat, telling Pitchfork that the project never got beyond the script development stage. If so, the studio signing those contracts was a bad move. They likely paid the Gorillaz to brainstorm a movie that would never even enter pre-production. And it's here that we get a hint at what's going on with Netflix behind the curtain. Despite this loss, Gorillaz fans are still having a good time, now hyped up for their new album, Cracker Island. According to Rolling Stones, it's a solid production that they're going to enjoy once it drops. But the reason why this new album was made is fascinating. According to Albarn's Humo interview, Cracker Island was created in reaction to the news of their movie being cancelled by Netflix. That gives us a timeline for Netflix's cancellation spree, one that puts it far earlier than we thought. Cracker Island was announced back in August of 2022. Even if the album was entirely created after that point, it was about six months between that and the final production being released. That's an extremely tight timeline for music production, especially for a band like the Gorillaz, who rely on artistic collaboration. More likely, it was significantly longer, with the announcement just coming when the band were working on the finishing touches. Going off their past work, Cracker Island would have likely taken the Gorillaz about a year in total, putting its creation and the movie's cancellation closer to February 2022. That's almost a full year before the loss of Dead End, Paranormal Park, and Inside Job. If accurate, this is an extremely worrying sign for Netflix animation. They've already tried to cancel speculative contracts like the Gorillaz movie, but with the streaming service showing overall losses, they're continuing to cut back even further. Let's hope the studio is not entirely gutted by this move. As for the Gorillaz, perhaps they should take their move to Hollywood proper. Yeah, that seems like a big ask for the project Damien Albarn called a slightly obtuse story that only sometimes makes sense, but hey, thanks to Hollywood, even a live-action How to Train Your Dragon is becoming a movie.